Three pairs, testing to see how well they truly know each other. This is Betting on Besties. And now, all the way from 6th Hour Communication Arts, your host, Brian Martin. Thank you, thank you. Now, before we get started today with the game show, let's introduce our contestants. Why don't you tell us a little bit about who you are and a little bit about yourselves. Let's start over here with Lexi. Hi, I'm Lexi. And I'm Courtney. And we've been best friends for... About a year now. We met doing Beauty and the Beast last year. All right, all right. Now let's go over here to Michael and Dalton. I'm Michael. I'm Dalton Sargent. We met uh, during football. We're both uh, varsity captains, and that's brought us close together as friends the past couple of years. All right, all right, nice. And let's go over to Abby and Noah next. I'm Abby. And I'm Noah. And we've been friends since about first grade. Uh, we met during church when their family joined us. Awesome. All right, now let's get into the rules for the game. Now, most of you already know how this game works, but for those who don't, let me explain it quickly. Three pairs of friends compete against each other to see who is truly the closest pair of friends, or rather, who pays attention the most. As the game progresses, the questions will become more personal and individual to the person in question. Teams will take turns having one person leave the room while I ask the other person the question. They will have 10 seconds to write it down on the whiteboard in front of them. When time is up, the other players will come back into the room and I will ask them the same question. You will then reveal answers and will be judged on if they are the same or not. The first round will be worth 5 points and the second round will be worth 10. At the end of the game, there will be a final question where teams can wager the current points on the question. Now that you know the rules, let's get started with round 1. Each player 2 will be leaving the studio and as we do that, we'll be taking a quick commercial break we'll be right back. I'm getting older. Do I need to worry about falling? Yes, you do. Each year, one in four people 65 and older will experience a fall, and many will be serious. The majority of falls happen at home, so remove things that could make you trip and install handrails to keep you steady. To learn more about the steps you can take to help prevent a fall, please talk to your doctor. You can also visit aarpfoundation.org or medicaremadeclear.com slash falls. This message was brought to you by United Healthcare and AARP Foundation. Welcome back. All right, now that player two is gone, I'll ask you the first question. You'll have 10 seconds to write it down on the board in front of you. All right, question one with 10 seconds on the clock. Who is your friend's celebrity crush? Time is up. Let's go to question two. What is your friend's favorite movie? All right, time's up for that one. All right, final question. Does your friend have a name for their car? If so, what is it? Time's up. Flip over your whiteboard. Uh, let's bring the other people back in here. And we'll, while we do that, we'll take another quick commercial break. Hello, my name is Dr. John DeYoung, President of the American Veterinary Medical Association. You may think that the health and welfare of your pets is all the veterinarians do, but our job is so much more. We're involved at the intersection of human, animal, environmental health, the concept known as One Health. Veterinarians keep your food supply safe, make sure that diseases are under control, and you can learn more about it at avma.org. We're all in this world together, animals and people alike, and we need to take care of one another. All right, welcome back. Now that player two is back in here, I will be asking you each what your favorite movie is, and we'll see if it's the same. So, uh, Courtney, who is your celebrity crush? Mm, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, let's see if it's the same. Oh, she said Zac Efron, it's not the uh, same. No five points for you. Let's go over here, Dalton, who's your celebrity crush? Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande, let's see if it's the same. Best guess, Megan, Megan Fox. Megan Fox, it's also <laughs> not the same. <laughs> All right, now let's go over to Noah. Noah, who is your celebrity crush? Millie Bobby Brown. Millie, what did she say? Oh, no, no. no. <laughs> Anna de Armas. Armas. Is it the same? No. no. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let's go to question two. Back to Courtney. 
<laughs> All right, Courtney, what's your favorite movie? Um, um, probably Peter Pan. Peter Pan, is it the same? I said Tangled. Tangled. Oh, oh, you I did get Disney. 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 Mm -hmm. That is correct. That is correct. Now I'll go over here to Dalton. Dalton, what is your favorite movie? Step Brothers. Step Brothers. Is it the same? I and got it's the a best question one. mark because you didn't know. That's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Too. Yes. Let's go over to Noah. What's your favorite movie? Inception. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Board. All right. Question three. Going back to Courtney. Do you have a name for your car? If so, what is it? Yes, I do have a car, and her name is Beverly. Is it right? Is it right? And it's oh, correct. The name is Beverly. You know, you know. All right, going back <laughs> over to Dalton here. Do you have a name for your car? No, I don't have a car. You don't have a car? Well, let's see what he said. I'll tell you what it would be if you had one. All reliable. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not the same, so it's not correct, but that's also a good name. So let's go back over to Noah. Noah, do you have a name for your car? I do. So it's it? called the Rickmobile. The Rickmobile. The Rickmobile. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a bit unfair. But, yeah. <laughs> so now uh, we have group one with five points on the board, group two with ten points on the board, and now we're going to have player one leaving the studio. So while we do that, we're going to take a quick commercial break. We'll be right back. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. Do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. All right, welcome back. Now with Team Two in the lead, it's time for round two. This time at the end of the round, we'll have a special bonus question, and when player two comes back into the room, I'll have you wager points on that. All right, so let's get into the first question. All right, question one. Who has the bigger charge on their credit card? All right, time's up. Question two, what is the dumbest thing your friend has ever cried over? All right, time to go. All right, here's the last question of round two. What is your friend's most irrational fear? And now we're going to do the bonus question real quick. All right, so just write this one down and we'll wager when they come back into the room. All right, here's the bonus question. What is your friend's most annoying habit? All right, you have five seconds. Three, two, one. All right, time's up. Let's bring back player two, or player one. But before we do that, we'll take another quick commercial break. We'll be right back. New message. Your social security number has been suspended. If you do not contact us, your account will be deactivated. Scammers are aggressive when they contact a potential victim. Social Security Administration employees will never threaten you for information or promise benefits in exchange for information. In those cases, the call is fraudulent and you should just hang up. Don't provide any personal or financial information to these thieves. Call the Social Security Fraud Hotline at 1-800-269-0271. All right, welcome back. We have player one back in the room with us. All right, and we'll start to answer the questions. We'll start over here with Lexi again. All right. So question one, Lexi, who has the bigger charge on their credit card? Or debit card, whichever one you have. Probably me. You? Let's see what Courtney said. And it is Lexi. Hey! You guys know each other so well. I know you spent so much. All right, so let's much. go over here to Dalton <laughs> and Michael. Michael, who has the bigger charge on their credit or debit card? I'm going to have to say me. You? Let's see what he said. And he said Westrick. That is, again, correct. Go. You get 10 points. 
All right, Abby, your turn. Who has the bigger charge on their debit card? I uh, probably me. You? And he said Abby. You <laughs> all get ten points for that round. Let's go to question two. We're gonna go back to Lexi. Question two. What is the dumbest thing you've ever cried over? Probably not having like a snack in the cupboard. Not having a snack. Let's see what she said. But cried laughing. Cried laughing. Oh. 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 That's a tricky one. That's a tricky one. <laughs> Let's go over here to Michael. What does Michael say? What is the dumbest thing you've ever cried over? I don't think Dalton's seen me cry too much, but probably something football related. Football. Let's see what he said. The Green Bay Packers losing. I mean, that's okay. football related. I'll count it. I'll count it. I'll give All you right. the, the 10 points for that. Let's go over to Abby. Now, there's probably a lot for this one. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what is the, Abby, what is the dumbest thing you've ever cried over? Um, I cried once when I didn't like the food that I was eating for dinner. Let's see what it Noah says. It was salami. Salami. <laughs> <laughs> you get 10 points on the board for that one. All right, finally, let's go to question two. Let's go back to Lexi. Lexi, what's your most irrational fear? Oh, I'd have to say spiders. Spiders? Let's see what Courtney says. Bugs. Bugs. I'll count it. I'll count it. Yes! Right, yes. <laughs> let's go over to Michael. Michael, what is your most irrational fear? Sharks. Sharks? Let's see what Dalton says. Heights. Oh, oh. that's incorrect. I'm afraid you don't get the points for that one. Let's go over to Abby again. Abby, what is your most irrational fear? Heights. Let's see what Noah, he said heights. He crossed it out, but he got there eventually. <laughs> now, before we do the bonus question, we need to wager. Team one, you have 25. Team two, you have 40 points. And team three has 30 points. That's how much you can wager. All right, now you get 10 seconds to wager your points. <laughs> have the bonus question that I will ask you, all right? The bonus question is, Lexi first, okay? What is your most annoying habit? You know this. Probably singing everywhere. Singing? Oh, what did Courtney say? Sing your mom. Sing your mom. Oh, I'm afraid that's incorrect. How much did you wager? All or nothing. All or nothing. Oh, no. oh my God. At least we still. That's it. That's it. All right, Michael, over here. Most what is your most habit. annoying habit? I feel like I probably play music too loud sometimes. Play music? What, what did he say? Speeding. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You speed? Not usually. No, not usually? All right, that's good, that's good. He doesn't know how, how much, much did you wager? 15. You wagered 15, so you lose 15 points. All right, and then Noah and Abby. Okay. Abby, what is your most annoying habit? I don't think this is my most annoying habit, but I think that Noah probably put something about me yelling at him. What did Noah put? <laughs> yelling at me! <laughs> How much did you wager? 25. 25. So your points go up to 25. All right. Congratulations to our winners. Now let's see what you won. Your prizes include a very magnificent statue of a brass sailboat because we can't afford a real cruise, a colorful world globe to distract you from the fact that you can't take a real trip, and a beautiful lamp to brighten the rest of your days here at MHS. This amazing prize package is worth around $5. And back to you, Brian. Congrats to Noah and Abby on their big victory once again. That's all we have for you today, folks. Thanks for tuning in on Betting with Besties. We'll see you all again soon.